we ask him, the Most High, to continue to show his mercy on our leader, Prophet Muhammad, his household and companions and followers till the day of accountability. Allah has revealed a book which is entirely different from any other book and been given to a prophet that is absolutely different from any other prophet, the leader of all mankind, Prophet Muhammad. This book is not, never ordinary. Never ordinary. Allah has packaged the content to be comprehensive and deal with all situations and the need, the need of mankind. That's why last Friday we discussed the importance of reciting this book. And of course, the honor Allah has attached to those who regard this book. And today we are discussing further that it's not enough for you to read the book. It's not enough to memorize the book. The book is meant for action. It is a book of revolution. It, it revol your own self. You have internal revolution within yourself. You have commitments. You have some dedications. You have some ground you stand on. You cannot be shaked. Because of the power of the content of your creed as regards the book. Unfortunately, a number of those who recite the book and memorize the book are far away from the book. Allah praises the companions. Because they read the book, they understand the book, they were trained to walk hand in hand with their knowledge of the book. That's why Allah says, those who are reciting the book and they are firm in their prayers, in their salat, and this is not only salat, it includes anything obedience, act of worship. And they are not left behind in assisting humanity, welfareism. That's why Allah says about them, they give out of their wealth, secretly and openly. The concept today is that when you memorize Quran, you have nothing to do with dunya. You are only waiting for sadaqat, some zakawat. Some, some coins from at times corrupt individuals who you cannot correct because you are waiting for their zakat. Why can't you go to market with your Quran? Allah says about them, they are also giving zakat, they are giving gift, they are giving zakat. We have few of them in this country who have the honor to be honoring those who memorize Quran. I know of a house in Asokoro, I did not mention this in all the other versions, that the guest house is only meant for those who memorize the Quran. From anywhere in the country, if they land in this capital city, they should be accommodated with their food. But there must be evidence of you memorizing the Holy Quran. That's supposed to be of a Muslim. Unfortunately, most of those who are Muslims don't regard professionalism of the Quran. And unfortunately also, those who read the Quran, a number of them did not regard themselves. And they did not regard the content of what they have. Why should you memorize the Quran and you are jobless? Why can't you go to the market? Why can't you go to the farm? Why can't you go to the offices and work? And earn? When the Quran is informing you of this, that you should give out, what are you going to give out? How do you go to Hajj? Is it through begging? How do you give the card which you have never given waiting for? How do you maintain your family, your children? How do you do that? Now, the Quran is not a book that calls you to run away from this dunya. It moderates and legalizes and prohibits so that you channel the course of legality. That was the cause of the companions. Usman bin Affan was a billionaire. And he has the whole, whole content of the Quran in his heart. In some narrations, he do do khatma, he will finish the citation of the Quran in three days. In some, less than three days, and he's a multi-billionaire. He gives out. He gives out to the Esther, Rasulullah Sallam says, go and do what you want. Allah has forgiven you, Usman. Allah. He has the opportunity of marrying the daughter of Rasulullah Sallam. 
if you have any first lady, the daughter of Rasulullah could have been the first lady of the universe, not only for a country. He married the first one, she died. And Rasulullah gave him the second daughter. And she died. And he said, if we have another daughter who could have given you Usman radiallahu anhu. He's a multi He's a member of the Quran. Abu Bakr Siddiq radiallahu anhu is a, is a billionaire. Abdurrahman bin Auf. All these are reciters of Quran. Lovers of Quran. So it's high time we have a change. Because nobody can change the situation we are in. Except through the influence of the Quran. It is only when we abide with the Quran we will sleep without thinking of any crisis or insecurity. It is only through the training of Quran that nobody will ever think of killing another person because you know the consequence. But when people, even Muslims, neglected, even leaders, neglected the Quran, they see it like a book of Ramadan for Tafsir. How many politicians recite Quran in their chambers? How many of them recite Quran to listeners in the Senate? In the house of rape, how many of them do this? You have to do that. And you don't need to feel any shy of doing that. That is the book sent for you to abide with. If somebody can, can mention his grandfather's ideas, why can't you mention Allah's idea which he sent? Why are you feeling shy? What is shyness there? Now we have a long journey to go. And Allah will never take it lightly. With the Ummah, he has sent the book and guided the book. That's why he said, if this book would have been revealed on mountains, take Zumarok for instance as case study. Zumarok could have disintegrated, could have perished, could have turned into grain and sand because of the fear of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the consequences of the day of Qiyamah. Man with that small head, when you compare your head, and my head and any other head with Zumarok, you know your head is nothing. And that head is moving with arrogance and pride without knowing the Quran. You are making a very serious mistake. Enjoy your 100 years and you meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for billions of years. With nobody, nobody can assist you. Nobody. The best of you are those who learn the Quran. And also teaches the Quran. Allahumma izal Islam wal Muslimin. Wa dhamir ada ana ada ka ada adin. Allahumma aleka bil kafara wal fajara wal fasaka. Alladhina yukirin al Islam al kaida. Rabbana atina fi dunya hasana. Wa fi al hasana. Wa kina adab al nar. Inna Allahu malaika tu yusalluna ala nabi. Ya ayu alladhina amunu sallu alayhi wa sallimu taslima. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala ali Muhammad. Kama salli ta ala Ibrahim. وعلى آل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد اللهم بارك على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما باركت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم في العالمين إنك حميد مجيد